coming up tomorrow. We're going to tell you who makes the state line's best comfort food. Very exciting. We're also taking you to Vegas virtually <laughs> with Gabe Saglie from Travel Zoo. One more thing before we go. So we talked about how it's Art's birthday. Yes. It's also Wednesday, which is game day. Puzzles are games. Very much so. Like they're, yeah. usually, they're just like mental game. Yes. And hopefully everyone wins at some point or you, you just to. quit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely perfect for freezing weather. So great. Look at you. You great. already you got your like it's coat on. She's bundled up. She's ready to sit and just do a puzzle, mm -hmm. uh, which is really what you should be doing. This puzzle is pretty awesome because it has like a velvety finish. Yeah, no, this feel different than another like any other puzzles yeah. out there. The minute I took it out of the box, uh, the the boxes also feel have this nice. finish. This is apostrophe puzzles, um, and they're very cool, very trendy uh, puzzles that you can purchase and you can do them you know, with your family. There's different sizes. This one is 24, 24 by 24. 24. This one over here is 26 by 19, a thousand pieces. Uh, the puzzles help support organizations dedicated to arts accessibility and education in communities of color. It's a black owned, women owned business, business uh, which is really, really cool. And they works of contemporary artists. They are 100% recycled chipboard and they're eco-friendly, non-toxic ink, and yet somehow they're just like the most velvety, most amazing puzzle pieces. Now these I've so ever nice. Felt. And it sounds weird to be like so excited about, about the puzzle, puzzle pieces, but sometimes you need that, especially like it's so cold out. Girl, because it's so cold outside. Like, what you gonna do? Not much. This one is called Talking All That Jazz, and I picked this one to do, and this one for you guys to win at GoodDayStateLine.com because this one seems a little harder. Bit girl. <laughs> They both seem hard. They're gonna take hours, but this one is just um, kind of like divided in chunks because right. of all the posters so it be on the easy back. Right, to put together, which helps me because I'm definitely like a divide and conquer. In fact, I already have three pieces. I together. do like when I do puzzles. <laughs> I do like the border first. Like I get oh, all you like always the do that. Yes, because I feel like that's. I mean, like they got what the straight edges. <laughs> No, yeah, you're God. right. That is the, make it easier for me. the best thing to do. I My brain doesn't work like that as much as I'd like it to. Uh -huh. It more works like I see that these two have the same color and font, so, so I just have go. to put them together yeah. and like separate like that. This is some part of her body, I think. Let me do see. you do puzzles often? When I was younger, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, I'm young. You are young. So you know what Webkins is. I've heard of it. I did the... <laughs> I did the Webkinz puzzles all the time. Were they and real I, puzzles? Like they, no, like online. Like, okay. So Webkinz is a, like an okay. online platform with like pets. Yeah. So that's what I would do. Like I would log in, take care of my Webkinz pets. Okay, <laughs> and do puzzles. Then I would go to the game room and sit for, I kid you not, hours and do the puzzles. But the fun thing about their puzzles was like, they were in a time limit. So you had like a minute to oh, do like an easy like puzzle. like a challenge? Yes. Okay, I like a challenge. And I was eating them challenges up. But I like, physical, like this, you know, gets your mind working and it gives you something to do with your hands. Maybe mm -hmm. if you need like a social media break. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's why I don't do puzzles as much as I used to because when I was a kid, we didn't have phones. So very more true. time to do puzzles. Very, very true. But I think it is a fun activity. My, I, if you remember over the, over the summer, my oldest nieces, Madeline and Ava, who are 16 and 12, came over and we did this puzzle together. Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun because it was definitely something perfect to do. It was a 90s throwback puzzle. Mm -hmm. And it is still on my oh, your, table. Yeah. Because I just like don't have the heart to break it up because it was such a good memory. How long do you think it would take to do this one? Longer than we have These to sit here and talk kinda about it. go together, but I gotta find the ones that match them together. Yeah, yeah, like, those are yeah, the right font. Them kind of This guy go goes together. with that one too. Yeah, we could probably do this for, you know, the next three weeks here on the show. <laughs> but don't worry, that's not what our plan is. We'll do this behind <laughs> the scenes. You don't have to watch and the we'll puzzles. And then we'll show you the yeah, pictures. Yeah, we'll send you pictures. Of um, what it looked like. And make sure you enter to win this one so you can have some puzzle fun at home at GoodDayStateLine.com. I'm here for this type of art, too. I have, like, to celebrate, you know, Art's birthday. I have artistic thoughts in my mind, mm -hmm. but I only dress stick figures and mm -hmm. they're not good. So, so let me tell you, my cousin, he's like great at art. Like when I tell you so great that like, I thought I was an artist. I brought <laughs> myself a drawing pad and was trying to draw. It didn't look as good as his though, but he was so good. He inspired me to Aww. start drawing. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm more yeah. of a painter I myself. I can decorate cakes. That's all I can do. You know why? Because you can fix it really easily. You did what? You decorate cakes because if you make a mistake, you just fix it with frosting. Yeah. More frosting, you have like a cake that's three times the amount of frosting as cake. Right. But am I look good? <laughs> <laughs> 
Can't do that with, you know, painting and drawing. We'd love to see your artwork. Like we said, let us know on Facebook. Maybe your kids are awesome artists. Send mm -hmm. us photos of the artwork that they've been bringing home from school or I guess doing at home since they probably, <laughs> probably went to school today for the first time in a while. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.